Alex Navarro. Hey, Dan. You know, the world ends with you. Aw. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I think. I don't even know if that's a compliment or what that is, but that's the name of this game that we're going to play here. You see, this is a game that actually came out a while ago. Uh, possibly 2007, if that copyright is to yeah, be believed. Yeah, look at that right there. Also, those are some Tetsuya Nomura-ass character designs. Uh, who? I've heard that name. Final is Fantasy. That, is that the Dragon Ball guy? No, Final oh. Fantasy. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. Maybe he was involved. I'm not sure. This was Square well, it Enix. right there. Character design. Oh, hey, there it's you right go. There. Man, it's you right are, there. You were so observant, Alex. I read. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. That could take a place. Uh, so this is a game I have never actually played, but I have heard a variety of great things about from a lot of people I trust over the years. So this is a game that I reviewed back in the day, and it is one of those games that I certainly would have never given two seconds uh, thought to if I was not reviewing every fucking game that came out between, like, 05 and 2009. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I know how that goes. This showed up at my place and I tried it out and I was not really open to RPGs at the time, but this one was set in like the modern day and it was like, okay, well, you know, I gave everything a shot back then, but this one actually kind of like stuck with me in a way. I really, really enjoyed gotcha. this game. Yes, this is a good one. So uh, if people have played it before, the thing is the combat system, which I will hop into a, a fight here pretty soon. I, I don't want to hop in just yet because it gets very hectic. But this is noise here. So basically, we are players in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in the the under underground or the underworld or something. And there's also a real ground, which is the real world. So okay. these people here, that you can see, this is the real world. They are in the real ground. They can't see me. Okay. I can do things. I can imprint. I can imprint memes on their hearts. Okay. Yep. That's the thing I can do. Let's see if let's see if I can imprint memes. Can on you put like a good here. crying Jordan on there? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. They've updated is there like a blinking white guy you can put on someone's that, soul? That's what the remix is. New memes. Okay, great. Uh, but no. So like right here, this is I believe this is a Reaper who are kind of people that kind of work with the game. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember all the beats of the the story or anything. It, it has been some years since this came out. Yes, I'm a few hours into uh, this. So, so I, we should emphasize this is on the Nintendo Switch now. This yes. is a remix version. It has added some stuff. Correct. Yes, they've added some uh, enemies. A, a chapter, they've remixed music, they have uh, changed some things around for sure and added some things. Uh, mainly, I think the combat is the, the big change here, okay. which uh, we're going to see because I need to get five 500 yen pins okay. to, uh, to get past this wall here. And as you can see, I've got this cursor on the screen. Yes. Which it seems like you're dragging your character around. Yes. And that is a way I can play uh, on the TV with a Joy-Con. Is I, I can point with this pointer, which is weird because the original combat was done with the touch screen and the stylus. It was a right, lot of swiping. Right. It was a DS game. Yes. Yeah, so you fight with these pins here. So you equip these different ones. And oh, oh, right. It does this thing where it's like the longer you go without playing it, it'll like level while you're not playing. Oh, that's cool. But like, so these are ones I have equipped here. So this one, I slash an enemy to activate this. This one, I tap empty space, so it's like a bullet that I would tap behind them and they'll shoot. Okay. This one is to, like, drag up an empty space. Uh, so it's, it's different, like, taps and drags and stuff, which worked really well on the DS, and it works really well on the Switch touchscreen with your finger. Uh, not as well with this? Um, it's not... It's not terrible, but it is not the way I like to play. I played a lot uh, both ways when I was getting this ready. Um, I feel like it's not the most accurate thing. Okay. And also... Uh, okay, so I'm going to show this thing in a bit, but we'll crank it up to seven. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. So, to get into fights, which that's a big part of this focus. game, you focus, and then you click one of these things, and you'll get into a fight. Okay. And So, so you, those are just floating fight guys. Yeah. And so you have a different partner for every, like, in-game week, and uh, so typically in the DS game, you would be... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay, sorry. Try no, it. no, concentrate on fighting. Okay. Um, there would be shit happening on the top screen, basically. And so, like, my partner would be up there, and I'd be doing, like, D-pad stuff on the top screen okay. to defeat enemies up there. Why? My controller is real weird. Why am I not? Okay, there we go. I think we're working. Okay. So I'm tapping, or I'm pressing the button in empty space the way I would normally tap. And if I tap on it, that'll, like, make a combo start with Shiki here. And, uh... Oh, so as you do combos and stuff, you build the sync meter. So okay. I'm at 124 right now. So I can hit that. I can do this kind of like attacking all enemies thing uh, that does a lot of damage. Everything. You level up each individual pin. Uh, man, I got to be honest. I kind of fucking hate doing this. So you have to point at the, the middle and hit uh, hit the Y button to kind of recenter it. Right. I got a couple uh, 100 yen pins here. Yeah, it seems like the, the Wii style 
fo- like like pointing presentation does not seem like the ideal way to do this. Yeah, there there is a hectic hecticness to this combat. Yeah, that um, I don't know if pointing at the screen is really the the most conducive to. Uh, yeah, it seems like a game you would you would have just fine playing on the the, the portable version uh, of the Switch. But. Yeah. In fact, not really designed for this sort of, of presentation. Yeah, in fact, I played a whole bunch on the plane coming back from Denmark. Oh, by the way, this is a... Uh, okay, so now I have to... Oh, uh, cards. I'm totally off-center now. So you have to, in that quick flash, kind of say, oh, shit, there's another one. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm blowing it. You have a certain amount of time. You see that bar at the top? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is way hard to do so while I'm talking. Okay. Stuff. okay um, so you're just trying to match. One. Yeah, and so that's going to increase the attack uh, strength and also the drop rate uh, for pins and stuff gotcha. like that. Gotcha. So that's going to clear that all out. Those are pretty weak enemies. They're probably going to die pretty quick. They so, look like frog tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's weird because before, there's like this orb that would bounce between the top screen and the bottom screen. And so, like, I would be doing the slashy stuff on the bottom DS screen, and the orb would go up top, and then I'm doing D-pad shit, and you're doing this combo back and forth, building the sync meter that way. So this one, there's less direct control you can do of, of your partner. Right. Uh, which, unless there is a new thing here, which we'll show off in a bit, that, that's a co-op mode. Um, but yeah, so you're collecting pins, and that's what this meter is here. So I'm at 7 out of 7, which means that is the easiest. Okay. And which means the drop rate is at 1. So okay. they will drop pins. They might not be that valuable. Um, but if I bring it down here, so let's, let's try a harder one here. And we'll see if I can get the pins I need for this. So we'll focus. What's the story? Uh, okay, so there's a game mm-hmm. uh, run by the Reapers, uh-huh. and it's set in a fictionalized version of Shibuya. And uh, basically, our players here are, are competing, and you get like a countdown on your hand that tells you how long you've got until you're basically like erased from existence if you don't win the game. Okay. And at this point in the game, I'm at it's, it's not entirely clear. Like you're kind of. It's almost like this weird scavenger hunt. Like Are you're you talking the game, to these... or is the game playing you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you're just kind of progressing. You're doing these things like, oh, this guy needs some pens, or there's this very specific thing where you have to go to a concert and clear bats off of like some lighting equipment oh, while I fighting a boss on the bottom. Yeah, it's it's all over the place. It seems like a lot of nonsense, but like potentially enjoyable nonsense. Yeah, it, it's out there. Uh, this character, the main character, is Neku. He is. Just a very uh, standard, just like, uh, no one understands me. I'm an introvert. You wouldn't get it. Like, he's totally that guy. Yeah, he definitely seems like a more Square enix version of a character from, like, a Jet Set Radio game. Totally. Yes, I could see that. Um, but yeah, all sorts of weird music, and I, I like the design on a lot of characters and stuff. Like, this the game art style is, still pops, you know, yeah. for a game that's, like, 11 years old at this point. Like, it's still, I mean, I'm sure they've done some work on it, but it feels like it, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's distinctive. Yeah, this game's got its own thing going on, which is, I think, why it struck me back when I reviewed it, is because, like, not being big on JRPGs, I just kind of thought they were all the same swords and fantasy setting and all that stuff. And this just seems so different, and I really appreciated it. And I think I think the combat was huge because like this is as far from like turn base as you can get. Yeah, it this is, is like this is frantic. frantic. It's very frantic, very fast. Um, and again, I, I would say that even though it's different on one screen, it works pretty well on the Switch touchscreen. Right. That was a pretty good, uh, pretty good multiplier there. Is that all? Of them? Yep. Got some pins. <laughs> See what I get here. Also, man, these are some fucking mid two thousands aesthetics if there ever was. Oh any. yeah, there definitely is. Um, also, so there's some like a fashion element to this game. So if you go into your phone, your 2007 ass phone, you'll see um, the brand chart of each area. So like this D plus B is a very fashionable brand in this area. So if I put on pins that are that brand, like this one here, that's oh. the brand. So it, the attack is going to go way up. Okay. But if it's like the lowest rank brand in the area, then it's not going to do anything it for you. Half. Half the attack. Okay. So, I mean, you can see like one, two, and three, you get diff- different bonuses here. Got it. Or you can have it. It's all about the brands, baby. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, you can change the difficulty of the combat here, but like this is also just kind of the difficulty slider that changes the drop rate. Which gotcha. Is kind of a big deal. Okay. Um, let me do, let me see how many of those, what was it, the 500 uh, pins that I needed? Uh, five 500 pins. Five 500s. Okay. Let's see what I got here. Uh, man, the cursor keeps getting like at the edge of the screen. It's, it, it is it a lot a of having to recenter, which a little is dicey. a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, so I should go to Mastered. Uh, is that 500? So I have three three of those. Okay, I need two more. Uh, back, show off some more menu stuff here. Uh, there's this weird system here, uh, the food system, which I need to buy some. But uh, each one of your characters, you can put like a burger. Okay, so she's got one here. She's digesting this burger. 
Uh, so each one of them takes a different amount of bites, B Y T E S. <laughs> okay. And it'll uh, it'll give you a bonus like your sink rate and stuff while you're like eating it or digesting okay. it. Okay. And then once it's done, it'll give you a permanent like that'll be like oh plus three to your HP permanently. It's a perma know? burger. Got it. Yeah. So like these fries here. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, sink rate goes up by fifteen percent, and then once you're done and digested, it goes up by one. Okay. This game's fucking weird. It's very strange, but like I, it's admirably strange. I think. Yeah. And you got slots for your clothing and stuff and all the clothes. You know, these are different brands and everything, too. Uh, different stats and everything. Uh, it, it takes a certain bravery requirement, which a bravery is just one of your levels that you level up by fighting. So let's, uh, let me see if I can crank up the difficulty and maybe get a bunch of pins. Although let's get I need, some pins. Let's go to two. Okay, we'll focus. I want to imprint a meme. And you can kind of read what people are saying, too. I mean, this is just kind yeah. of a flavor stuff, you know? All right, you got some, got some dudes Still here. Okay, so I'm at a six-star drop rate. Let's see what I get here. Yeah, and the different abilities. Like I've got a lot of like lightning and projectile abilities and stuff like that. You can get some stuff that'll like, you know, telekinesis. You know, move these things across the battlefield, like the uh, the motorcycles. I could use this glove pen or whatever to uh, throw that at enemies. So yeah, it, it, one complaint I would have is that you do feel like you have less actual control over your partner, right. and you're always going to have a partner. In fact, let's speaking of which, Alex, let me turn on this Joy-Con here. Oh, I have not tried this yet. Okay. I've only played this at home. Oh, Shiki, digest the food. Am I pointing or am I? I think you're going to be pointing. Okay. Uh, it's going to be a lot of. Uh, well, I'm not sure with Shiki because I haven't played let's, with her. Let's figure it out. You're going to point in and press buttons. You're going to press the right button. It's A on mine. It's probably the right on yours. But I think I need to go into here, turn on co-op. So get in there. Uh, okay. Mm. And you'll see there's no pro controller or anything. You just play this with a Joy-Con, a little wand. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, go ahead and hit the the right button there. And let's see. I whoa. Wait, are you the only one now? Hit co-op. Oh, so it looks like you've got your own. Okay, so I'll hit this for the first one. Uh huh. Okay, I'm in. Am I hitting the wrong thing? I uh, just hit the uh, yeah the the tiny trigger button up there. There you go. Okay. Okay. And it looks like you've got your own pins there. If, if we go over this, let's say. Okay, uh, I'm not controlling the. This. I'm this one here. Yeah. So I'm gonna hit co-op. Oh, oh wait, are we both controlling it? I I I'm not doing it. Like, I'm z zooming it back and forth. It's not doing anything. Check this out. So I hit center, and it's just floating it's to the left. Now? It just that's not, to the left. That's not great. Um. All right. Well, I'll try to fight that. What is going on? Okay, I'm setting this down. If you... Yours isn't doing anything, right? As far as I can tell, I'm like, I'm pointing it. It's not doing... If I hit... Was it Y centers it? Y should center it, yeah. Yeah, this isn't doing anything for me. Let's see if we can do a quick uh, redo here of this. Okay, change grip order. Let's do this again, and let's set them down on the, the flat surface here. Okay. So I'll hit R. And you'll hit L. Am I in? Nope, not at all. Yeah, yeah you're two not. Two S buttons. Okay, that's one. You try that. Okay. okay. Okay, that seems good. Then, oh god, I have to hold it sideways now. Oh, this is a whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, again. All right. Retrofitting a thing that wasn't really designed for TV play to begin with. <laughs> Great, then so it's, it's gonna make me do it here again anyway. Okay, that was down on the ground. And then, it's still floating. Huh, I wonder what that is. Weird, it was it was fine until we went into the co-op. Let's try okay, set it down again. Mm -hmm. Is it not even finding it now? Do you want to just switch Joy-Cons? Uh let's try it. Right. Mine just went in. Set it down and see if you can get it working. Otherwise we'll just go back to uh solo here. This is a good PSA no. for this. Yeah, I mean, hey, people are gonna have to try this. Okay, it's not floating. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, now, can you point now? There's no pointing for me, as what far as I can tell. Fuck is this? All right, I'll just go back and see if. It okay, it says co-op, so let's go into a fight and see if this works. All right. Fun I don't know what I'll be doing, but we'll figure it out. Uh, tapping and moving. All right. Let's see. No cursor. If you hit Y. Wait, there, I see a red. Hit, hit Y. There or, I am. Okay, you're there. So, if you hold in the trigger and point, you can kind of move around the battlefield. 
It takes some real getting used to, so sorry to throw you into yeah, the... Yeah, I have uh, no idea what I'm either. doing, but I'm just yeah. going to uh, tap, tap buttons in the direction of this thing. It looks like you do have three attacks down there. I'm not entirely sure how those work. So, uh, so this is definitely one of the new features here. So, wondering how good this is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we can even see what your three pens are, or if you can kind of swap those out or anything. Let's see. Let's see if there's any kind of like sub menu for the, the co op partner. Well, there's a little meter there. Yeah. Uh, going to pins. Hmm. I'm not seeing any options yeah, to like seems switch like, to you. Kind of seems like I might just be piggybacking on what you're doing yeah, more than anything else. It almost kind of feels like maybe a little more in depth version of like the Mario Galaxy, like, hey, you can point and shoot some star bits. Yeah, type like thing, you're actually you know? engaging in the combat, but also it, it's, it seems like it might be a little hard to keep track of everything going on with two people doing that. Yeah, it is a hectic game. Um, I, I do kind of appreciate not having to worry about handling her stuff with just the taps, but I don't know if this is enough for, like, a full-on co-op. Like, I don't know if you don't want to play through this whole game with someone, you know? Yeah. All right, so you're able to move and stuff. Yeah. I bet you've got, like, a tap one. Uh, I bet you've got a slash one. Yeah. Yeah, and then we can both move around. I mean... It's working. It's an idea. Yeah. It's. I mean, I guess you got to add some new elements when you're porting it, yeah. uh, an old game, to a thing. I, like I just don't really know what I'm... I, I, I don't know what I'm actually doing yet. So yeah. that's, that's also... It should be considered here. Yes, yes. You have never played this game ever, and it's a very weird game. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of a harsh curve. We can switch back to uh, solo after this fight here. But now we know what it is, at least. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to look at and see that it's maybe not... Maybe not that great. Go. Okay, got it. That stuff is called the noise. That is only visible to the players in the game. Uh, and a lot of these will kind of master. Uh, they will reach max level pretty early, while some can go up uh, quite a bit higher. Okay. okay, I just got two more 500 yen. Looks I like think I've good. got enough. That's enough. So let's kick you the fuck out of here. Please do. All right. Solo. That's just me. Yeah, I wasn't too impressed in that brief little look at it. I probably wasn't doing enough to impress anyone, but yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm. Oh my You're god. god. Yeah. Man. Okay. So that's that's a definite PSA. That man. If you're gonna do this. Oh fuck. It gives you the like put it down on a flat surface thing early. Let's try this one more time, and then I'll give those uh, pens to the guy. Change grip order. There. Right down there on the desk. Oh wait. I gotta do the two side ones. Mm-hmm. Man, syncing controller stuff is so fun. Yeah, it's the best part of video games. Yeah. It's what everyone loves. Also, I think most people just get to do it like once or twice, and then yeah. they're kind of set. Whereas, like at our jobs, we are nonstop syncing we are controllers, syncing different things, and moving stuff between like an Xbox and a PC. And all right, let's see. Our lives are pretty dumb. Yeah. All right. That should be good. It's drifting. What the fuck is that? I don't know. You haven't seen that at home at all? No. That's, uh... I mean, it could have something to do with, like, the lighting setup in here, too. I guess that is possible. It is using, like, IR stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, whatever. I'll try one more time here. We'll see. I mean, I feel like I've kind of touched on, like, the main things it's yeah. doing. I mean, fundamentally, this is the game they put out in 2007 with some, some added stuff here and there. It, it is definitely still The World Ends With You. Yeah. I will see. If I can get this working, I'll give those pens to the guy and see what's in the next area. But, uh... Yeah, if you have played the old one, I will say that this is a, a nice way to have it on the go with your Switch. Uh, especially um, if you're using the touchscreen in particular. Yeah, that's kind of the way to go. And unfortunately, just capturing-wise, we really there's no way to do yeah, that. Yeah, we can't do that. So um, here, I'm going to put my hand kind of over the, the lights here. Let's see if that does anything. So it doesn't go nuts. Let's see. Oh, man, fuck that. All right, well. All right, well, let's see if I can at least cash this in and see where that takes us. Maybe see a little bit of the story. That sucks ass. I mean, it right. seems like you're at least getting around. Well... Until I need to click him to fucking... Yeah. Ah, there. I think I have we, that. We yep, there you go, sir. All right, so yeah, you get these kind of like permanent stickers that will give you, you know, boost. Stick around. But also, uh, in the original game, like, you would change out your partners frequently, so I'm sure that's going to be a different set of stickers. Right. Everything. Okay, I can move around. Uh, how much is this? Ooh, that's a good Switch. question. Uh, I don't know if it's the full 60 or... Oh, my God. Fuck this shit. Hi, 
Uh, I don't know. We can get Abby to yeah, take a look here. Take a quick peek. Uh, so yeah, these are like pen stores here. I wish I could actually look over them and show you the options. Looks Cutie to be bean. 50 bucks. 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Okay. I mean, it's a big like 25, 30 hour game. Right. You know? If you have not played it, I will say that I'm having fun with it again. Uh, even though I played it 10 years ago. Oh, having fun with it when I can move the cursor. Yeah, when or this is ideally happen. play it without a cursor. Right. But yeah, you shops. You know, yeah. uh, as as you talk to shops, shop battling more. style. Yeah. Uh, anime hair. Uh, apologies that something about our setup or something here is is making this difficult to do. Yeah. But um, would not yeah. necessarily ascribe this to being a bug in the game as much as maybe just something not jiving with what we're doing here. No, and, and again, I, I played probably an hour and a half with the cursor stuff at home, and it was fine. And it, again. I wouldn't say it's the ideal way to play this game, right? But if you got a Switch, you definitely have the capability to play it. You know, handheld. I would recommend doing that. Great for flights and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, just really unique, cool JRPG. Um, I would recommend it. All right, thanks, Dan. Thanks.